sour, which is a lot less than we just sustained. Uh, should pass southwest heading northwest offshore. One computer model has it overhead Cabo. Other four models uh, have it southwest offshore. Of course, some uh, said this, some of these models, four of the models were the same with the last storm. So this is following the same track. We can hope that it takes one of the other models. So, okay? All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. And I think be, beyond that, the, from a security standpoint, for, for those who don't, uh, don't know, um, Solmar Group at night has blocked off the roads from La Pampa Restaurant all the way down. Um, there's been some military up by Giggling Marlin. There's been some at the previous corner to Giggling Marlin. Um, so from a security standpoint, I think things are much, much better than, than we were, you know, we were really concerned yesterday, but obviously that's changed. We're gonna continue with what we've done, the back gate will be closed, the lower gate will be closed. Um, we're letting people in and out until 7 p.m. 7 p.m., that's it. If you go out, you don't get back in. If you're outside trying to get in, even if you're an owner, no one's gonna be allowed in. We're gonna blockade the, uh, uh, the entrance. Uh, for maybe one more day until we, you know, we get a little bit better feel. Um, we do know that the, there's a massive amount of uh, military that's on its way here. Uh, they should have arrived in La Paz last night on a bunch of boats from uh, mainland. Uh, we don't know how fast they're coming down here or what their plan is or any of that yet. But that gives you a pretty, uh, just a brief picture of, of what we know. I don't know if there's any. Other things, Johnny, do you have any some other things? Yeah, two, two updates. I want to elaborate on security issues. Um, security is pretty good right now. We've got extra security people. The security team is <clears throat> banning the gates. We're only letting people in and out. Please, folks, don't drive around and try to be heroes. Stay in your homes, protect your house, protect your families. We don't need extra people driving around at night. Um, I've been volunteering. I've got another friend of mine who's volunteering. And when we see other homeowners out and about, it's not helping us. Uh, lights are the key. If we see lights, we're going to it. Because if somebody's going to be doing anything they're not supposed to be doing, they're going to be using lights too. So we're, we're going to every light. So if you guys are driving around, it's not helping us. So please, stay at home. Uh, we have a great group up uh, in, in Cindy's and, and your guys' area. They're banging on pots if they see something that's, that's not right. And flashlight signals are working out well. Orlando's got the top of the mountain pretty well covered. So just be calm. Stay at home. Enjoy the downtime mm -hmm. while you can. That's the best thing. And I, you got hold on, hold on, hold on. I need gasoline. Whoever has gasoline that is in a vehicle that's not used, it's stuck in the garage, has a boat, extra gasoline. The security jeeps are out, and we gotta protect this place. And we need the security jeeps running. So whoever has gasoline, I have gas cans. I have the ability to get some gasoline out, but security needs gasoline. So if you guys can get some gas to me, talk to Fernando, Nacho, or myself afterwards. I will go around and pick up the gas that we can get. I know we had a volunteer yesterday, but I don't know. And we'll, we'll confirm because we saw like some of the cars after, so yeah, if there's a way we can communicate after, um, we'll yeah, try we'll to talk, help we'll you out from that side after and this, but, yeah. but right now we need gasoline, and you guys need gasoline for your cars too. If anybody's going to go to the airport, or you know, keep a quarter tank. You know, pass a quarter tank. You don't need much more. That's going to be considered a luxury. Eventually, they'll get the gas stations open, but we need gas for the for the security teams. Yeah, we also need gas for the garbage trucks, so they're not out doing, and, and that's another concern because as people are unloading their refrigerators and freezers and stuff, gonna that's going to create create problems. So we're going to have to talk about uh, where we put all that stuff, uh, and maybe what we need to do, and we'll have to discuss it, but is maybe we should make a, a lot selection is we'll put garbage here and we'll put trash over there. So I've got my side covered uh, next to Wayne Clark, right? Our house, I'm standing inside there. I took batteries out of the car. I got 12 volt light bulbs to light up the house, like somebody's there. But security's not letting my, pass, my staff pass with their ID badges when they're walking. Why is that an issue? What, what, what's the deal? Would you like to help us with here at the gate? If you come down and if you come down and pick them up, we'll, 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 we'll have arrange that for tomorrow yep. morning. Okay. Yeah. Because again, we've restricted people strictly for security reasons. 
You know, why did I just see a truck with about 10 guys in it? They are working. Where are they going? They are working, they are working in Casa Mikau. They were destroyed, and they came in the morning, they were all checked in, and they were all checked out. Nothing. We're watching all the cars coming in. We're checking trunks on the way out. Yes, there's going to be people stealing gas. Yes, there's going to be people trying to take stuff that's not theirs. We don't want everybody's workers in here, specifically pool cleaners. Don't right. clean your pool. There's no reason to clean your pool. Your pool is your asset right now. You're going to need it to fill up your toilet tanks. You're going to need it to boil water, to wash your hands or whatever. If you have chlorine bleach, uh, use it wisely. Um, so, you know, Alan, we don't need a bunch of workers in here today. Uh, yeah, yes, so, I do. I, I have a house full of glass, and if you were trying to get We'll discuss that later. Let's, let's get the well, whole thing. As, as long as he follows the procedure and goes down to pick them up, we have no issue with that. And as long as they have badges. Thank you for telling me what time I can get back in. What time can I leave? I want to make a run tomorrow to La Paz, and if somebody wants to form like a little uh, you know, wagon train going up so we kind of go together. That might not be a bad idea. Right. It's open, Bob, uh, from 7 in, at, in other words, if you go out after 7 p.m., you don't get back in until so I can leave any time I want until 7 a.m. in the morning. Or any time. Yes. If it's coming back in. 7 p.m., shut it down. Okay, that's And we'll open it again at 7 a.m. Yeah, because I plan to leave at 4 in the morning so I can get back before 7. <laughs> Well, we're not letting you out. Unless they're going to make a change, we were not opening until 7.